Welcome to I Love Stocks. I'm going to do a little market recap on some tickers that we've been watching today and some that I talked about during last night's little session. We had a little open door session last night and we kind of brought up some stocks we talked about. And so for right now, we're going to be using the Trend Spider platform. We are affiliates of the Trend Spider platform. You can go to our website. I'll have the link posted below. You can hit this little thing right down here. And then if you wanted to sign up, for the free trial, you're welcome to do that. And then I'll be able to link up with the I Love Stocks affiliate. So let's go ahead and get into the chart itself. This is the, the Trend Spider platform. They have an alert system on here if you have some scanners on here, market scanners if you're interested in the scanners itself. Plus you can create a watch list and create alerts. So, you know, I kind of like this platform. It also has a little, uh, if you're looking for like patterns, a certain kind of pattern, you can, on candlesticks, they have all kinds of candlesticks in here and they'll light up. Like this here had some hammers right in here. They'll light up in here and then you can see them when they post up on the uh, chart and that can help a lot of beginners get into trades. And it's kind of like a homework session. I got the hammers hooked up right now. And you can see every time it hits a hammer, you can tell if it's bullish or bearish. Most times they're bullish, but you know, in this case it wasn't, it was for a couple of days. It depends on the run and how it is, how the trend is. But let's get right into Netflix, and that's the first one we're going to talk about. They also have a little side panel over here if you wanted to draw trend lines. They have Fibonacci set up here, unless you want to draw your own fibs. You could always do this. Just double top, just couldn't break up here. So maybe on the year, if you want to draw a Fibonacci setup to look like that, or you know how different time frames mean different things. So let's go ahead and remove this Fibonacci right now. And we're going to draw some trend lines in here, and we're going to look at the daily and see how the day was. We did have a nice engulfing candle, and we did have some resistance right here at 534.38. So I'm going to stick. Well, let me go ahead and do this a little bit different here. We'll remove this. I want to get it to where we can see it. Right there, right around 534.38. Then we got a little support right down here, right around the 514 level. So we walk over here to the right, to the left. And we draw us a little support channel right in here, right around that 5. I'm basing it on the bodies of these candles. So it's 5, 14, 16. Now I want to look for a little pivot point area in here. I think it can pull back to that 5, 14, but we're bullish on this one in a, in a sort of way. And the little pivot point's going to be right here. Did you see where I saw that? We're going to magnify this. Well, we'll just leave it like it is. I'm going to go ahead and draw a little pivot point right here. And that there's at the 5.2502. Today it held this area right in here, right around the 5.2895. And I'm going to go ahead and put another trend line right there. So we've got different kinds of scenarios we're looking at right here. Bam. 5.29. That looks a little bit better. So we got a little support. And then I'm going to draw one more right in, right in here. Bam, 52020. 20. That's going to be our little channel that we're going to be working with. We have a low strong buy down here at 514.16. You see it did have a nice little trend and it's followed that trend all the way up. So let's go ahead and draw that in here. We'll just go ahead and go off this wick right here and just kind of focus it up that way. See how it touched all these spots right in here? Just a little bit over there. Then it pulled right up to that 514.16. So that's going to be the area where I'm going to be very interested to maybe take the trade and move it back up to the top of this resistance channel of 534.38. Now I know there's a lot of short covering on this stock into 2021. And I think the same scenario is going to be going on with a lot of this. Disney had a 20% increase uh, subscribers over the holiday weekend, Christmas weekend. So that's, that's huge. And they're going to have good earnings. 
And I think that's true with Netflix. It's the number one, but Disney's coming right behind them. And they have somewhere to put all them movies. That's where they're going to be showing them at. Because I think COVID is here, to, not here to stay, but maybe the, the mental change in our lives and the way we do business and the way we conduct ourselves will definitely change for the next few years until we get out of this little fear of COVID. The vaccine's out. Hopefully in 2021, we can go out and party a little bit. So we've got a low support here at 514.16, And then we got a pivot point right here at 525.02. I'd like to see that hold come tomorrow with a support level here at 529.28 and 534.38. And I want to check one thing right here and see where we are after hours. NFLX. It's good to have two platforms. I have three, four different platforms. That I, two of them that I chart with, and that's TrendSpider and Ameritrade, and then I have three platforms that I trade on: U Stock Trades, TastyWorks, and um, to TastyWorks and Toss. So we got that low support. I like how that trend line is. It can pull back to this trend line, and it'll keep popping up. Right now, after hours, we're at 531.50. We're trying to cross that 200 SMA on the daily one minute. So let's go to the next one. That's Netflix. The next one will be Apple. Apple had a nice little pullback today. It's up on rumors. Well, not really rumors. They're wanting to get into the car business. They're going to start building these cars, these EV cars. So I think they'll probably need a partnership of some sort. Maybe someone's kind of halfway set up and they could be buying them out. This could be into 2021. I don't think it'll be Tesla. If it is Tesla, I'll be very disappointed, and I'll turn like a big bear on Tesla overnight. For the last 10 years, I've been bullish on it. So I think it could be another startup company, but we'll, we'll just have to find out. Let's go ahead and type that. I'm going to type that in here. Apple. There we go. I have a support level right down here, as you can see at 129.62. We did have a nice little pullback. We talked about this in the video uh, last night. I said that Apple, Apple could be pulling back some, and it's exactly what it did today. It almost pulled back to that first support that I called out at 133.86, and that was in the uh, last night after the market report. So let's draw some trend lines in here and see where we are. I think, you know, I'm going to draw a trend line up through here for sure, just to get the thing ball rolling. Start off on this wick right here. Oh, no, we're going to take it a little bit different. I don't like that. We're going to come up maybe to the body of this and then run it up. Still not liking that. I'm trying to find the trend that's going up here. I think I just need to run it up against this candle right here. Yep. We're going to head draw a couple trend lines to the side. Had a nice little breakout in here. She's ran all the way up. I think she's due for a pullback. So that's solid support. I'm going to be right off this candle right here. We'll just draw this crossed at 131.29. And you got another one right here. Right there at that spot there we'll just bring it in a little bit I'm using the bodies of the candles that's important to me when I'm doing these numbers and we'll go ahead and draw another one at the top of this one here right about there and then we got one more left and that's gonna be the top of this double top we just couldn't get up there today she tried, but she just couldn't do it. So let's bring us to a different time frame. For right now, we're looking at a low support of 131.29, 132.64, and 134.21 into the new year. And then I'm going to be bullish on this trade. I think it will break this 137.45 into 2021. I'm going to add it to my EV car watch list also. It's a tech stock, so that's what's so good about Tesla. 
is that it's a tech company, and so is Apple. And that's to me, is going to be the catalyst for this to keep up momentum and run up into 2021. And that is going to be the $150 mark, $175, and then we'll start fudging around there, maybe pull back some, jump up around. By the middle of, of the year, I should see this at $175 real easy. And that's going to be Apple. I like it, but I think it needs to pull back into these three supports and then start to retrace back up. But who knows? This thing can start picking up momentum. But I always say, you know, rumors are rumors until we start seeing the start seeing the actual movement of the of the company, what they're wanting to do with the EV cars. Don't forget, I mean, they sell iPhones and computers, and they're they're they do the whole works. They want to make their own chips. That's another catalyst for this stock to move to become their own chip maker. So Nile, Nile's next. Nile pulled back perfect to that support level that I had. If you remember me talking about it last night. We're going to go ahead and key this in here. Nile, beautiful little pennant flag. We had that nice little pennant flag going up here. This is a perfect pennant flag. And it's bullish. It's been forming for almost since October. Back down in this area right in here. She's definitely been up, all the way up. Nile's a good trade. I'm going to be very bullish on this. going to be my number one China play in the EV car market. And I'm going to tell you where I think support is going to be. We, we did, and I do want to pull this up, how we talked about it the other day, last night. I want to show you the pullback that we had on it. Well, I'm sure I put in a flag here. Let me look at the five-day. Yeah. We had a little support down here, red line support. This was after hours yesterday. I figured this might hold, and then I called two other supports out below it. I like this red line support, and I'll show you why on the 20-day. I could kind of clean this up, but this is a pivot point on the 20-day chart. And when I talk about pivot point, you can use them as support levels, you can use them as resistance levels, or you can use them as a decider, a decisive, decisive moment, either if it wants to go up or down. This time it chooses to go up with a double bottom. And that's right where the body of that candle is. See what I'm talking about? That body of that candle stopped right there at that trend line. And that's positive that after that first breakout that this thing was going to run up. That's Nile. So I think, you know, this is a stock that can be volatile. But into 2021, we're going to get back up here. We're going to break the $50 level. And we're going to get up to $75 bucks easily easily this is my number one china ev car watch list you can see the tape still green so our next resistance on this one's going to be right here at 4703 and 4832 with an equilibrium in here between that and that's going to be and we've got that set up already right there at 4762 so we had a pullback at 43, we had to pull back here at 43.81, traded a solid support, got a little U-shape going on here, J-hook. We did break that resistance of that 200 on the 20-day, and that's quite impressive, and then we busted past that 50. So the next three resistance levels, if we can get this thing up to 47.03, 47.62, and 48.32, and if it really starts to catch momentum up, we can get up here to right around the 49.67 and break that $50 mark. Now, you know, this is a stock that is volatile in the morning. It does like to pull back. So if it does do that, first thing in the morning, you see it does it almost every time. But today, she did the same thing and bounced right up and then gained past resistance. So that's how, if you're not in the trade, you want to wait for a confirmation on the pullback pre-market and then take the trade into opening. Basically, that's how I would trade it, but it, it pulled back right to my support level here. So, so we're going to still keep that as support at 43.81. Then maybe use that 200. This is the SMA on the 20-day, one-hour chart for a support level. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Tesla. Tesla is forming a beautiful flag. We're going to look at it in both charts. 
we'll pull up the 20 day right here and you can see it on the I had a support level a little pivot point level in the channel at 464.36 I talked about it maybe pulling back to that today but it held that first support at 4659.18 646.36 I don't know if think if that's what I said before but that was the pivot point and I talk about the pivot point in a channel and the way you find them is you look for tops you look for consolidated areas and you just try to look for places of resistance and we found that all the way through this chart here and the same thing is pulling back so that 646.36 I'm going to keep as support level it can follow this trend line down to this next support at 627 but for right now, we're forming a flag, and I'll show you this flag. This is called an ascending triangle. I'm going to extend this out to the right. It can pull back to the bottom of this channel right here and bounce on up and break resistance level. And this is how I trade the stock. You know, it, bam, pulled back to the trend line. That's how I drew the trend line from there. And then the second time it went up here, formed an ascending triangle pattern. Then on that third dip, that would have been a great entry third time that this thing pulled back to that trend line and I see this a lot of time in the ascending triangles for example let me pull this up here real fast see if I can find it give me just a minute usually a lot of times when you're looking at them they have that little breakout and then they find resistance and they pull back and that's how I drew that line then kind of hovered around here a couple times and pulled back that third time so what happens is the sellers start to weaken out and the buyers keep buying on the dips and then you have less sellers and more buyers and then it starts to squeeze and then you have the breakout and I think that's what we're going to see here and that's called an ascending triangle continuation pattern and usually if you're good at this and you've watched many of them you want to get in on that second or maybe third dip it depends on how you feel about the stock itself if you're bullish or if you're not so let's go ahead and take this down we're going to go ahead and say resistance to break tomorrow if we break out of this channel is going to be right up in here and we're just going to go kind of to the top here and draw us a little trend line off the body of this candle right here that's going to be resistance to break 668.90 I'm not using the wick I'm using the body of the candle that's the strength and the mustard of the stock. You see how it pulled back here to that 200 right here? I was telling Miss Vegas, I said, no, wait a minute, this thing's going to hold. It's going to hold off that 200. Bam, look what it did. She was in the trade, and then bam, it ran on up. And I do believe we will break the 666. Six, you know, I can put 66599 because I just can't use that number on, I just don't use it. I just go around it up to the next cent up or the next cent below however I feel about it so let's see if we can find another support I think that support can hold right here off this trend line but every day is a new day and a lot of people don't watch these ascending triangles a lot of bears in this trade they'll pull it back they'll try to get on on the on the caboose and try to just run it on down today was a good trade to get in this stock to maybe swing it overnight but if you're not in it wait for that little pullback right here at around 662.93 to hold if not we'll dive down here to 659 and maybe even get to those other resistance support levels that I was talking about earlier and that was right down here at the 646 area the pivot point with a strong buy at 627 that's going to be Tesla the next one we're going to talk about is TSM TSM beautiful call on this one here I had someone in the room ask me about it a few weeks back Whoop, TSH TSM I had someone ask me about this trade on this last breakout I said wait 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 for it to pull back to support level it finally did it did that next day and then it held that support for the next two or three weeks then here we did try to break that double top again so I'm going to draw a trend line up here at the double top bam whoop bam 
Come on, you coward. There you go. 107.81. Then we got another one right here. See this here? That's how you find resistance levels. You don't use that wick. Use that body of that candle. That body of that candle is where all the strength is. So, strong buy if it does knife down here again at that 102.91. I think that can hold your third support at 103.67. Then we have the little channel right in here, and that second support channel is going to be going. I'm going to up kind of. Well, I don't know. It's we have lower lows and lower highs. We're starting to have a little wedge. And when I see something like this some, on an uptrend, we could probably pull back and squeeze, get into this channel right here off this 200 SMA, and maybe retrace back up and start creating a new channel. Get away from this channel in here and start to create a new one. That's what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing an uphill climb. I'm seeing we consolidated for a good 10, almost three weeks here. Once we did that, we broke out of that channel and created a double top. So if this thing pulls back to maybe this lower support area in here, let me go ahead and color this baby in so I'll have it marked for tomorrow. That's going to be our new support channel. If, that, if it fails below that, this will be a strong buy down here at 102.91 and 103.67, back to the resistance level, or it will create support and bounce up and create a new channel. And if we get a triple top and it fails, exit, take your money, let it pull back again to support level here at 105, and then bounce back into it. Maybe the fourth time it'll break that triple top and go in into a quad. But I want to see it build a new channel. And that's TSM, staff. Staff's the next one. Had someone in the room want to talk to me about this? Want me to chart this one up? Had a whoo. We got to see why this sell off happened here. It's always an offering. First thing that popped in my mind. First thing that popped in my mind, it had an offering. It's a small offering of 2.9 million. But I question why, why would they do that? Uh, it's a full of underwriters options with purchase additional shares. So, yeah, they're going to probably buy the shares on the dip and rebounce this back up. So, this is definitely an offering. I think we can find a low support double bottom here right around the 60 cent area. We're going to go ahead and color this baby in. Someone messaging me there. Right at 60, 60, 60, 31. We got another one right here around 64.38 with a resistance to break right here at 71.95. So that's how I'm going to look at this trade. I don't like the fact that it had an offering. This could be a, a shakedown and people that got were stuck in the trade. It hasn't had very much volume. It hasn't had very much volume. So, you know, that tells me if people are familiar with this stock, they might want to go ahead and buy this and hold this long. I want to probably read in more into it, see if they're having any more trouble, any more issues, or if they just wanted to have a little extra cash because of COVID. But I'm kind of, you know, I'm, it's not the stock that I wanted it to be when I was looking at it when it was up around two, two bucks. And that was about three years ago when it was up here in this area. See, I've got three years of trend lines on this trade, 2018 and 2019. And I should probably i'm gonna go ahead and erase all this mumble jumble out of here and we can get a bigger picture a clearer picture <laughs> and take this news out we know it had an offering yeah see you see this i didn't see this down here i mean this sucker could pull all the way back down to 28. so this is a risky trade to me right now i don't think it can retrace i think it can retrace back up but it's going to be you know Something I wouldn't want to probably mess with because the volume is not really that big. There's not much volume in the trade. So that's another negative sign. That's two of them offering in the volume. We're going to magnify this up. I'm trying to look for a place right in here. Right there at 55. With the low down here right around 46.87 needs to hold.
Then we've got a resistance level right up in here, right around the 7038. This is a scalper's play. Unless we start getting some good news and we have the closing of the offering, and I would find out a few days in advance of that closing date, and that could be a good opportunity to start taking the trade and then run it up after the closing date. I'd be more bullish on it at that rate. And then we got one more right here. And if I want to check one more thing out, I want to check the float on this thing. Yeah, I'm not too happy with it right now. Floats 6.5 million. That's that's good. That's that's good. That that I can accept that. Oh, wrong stock. Might talk about Snap too. I got it in that trade. So let's bring this up to the 20 day and see if there's anything I missed on here. Yeah, see this gap in here. And I do want to adjust this resistance level, like I said earlier, right around 72.15. So we'll take this off. No, we won't. We'll leave it on there. 71.57, and I'll color this in. Bam. Support going to be right down here at 60. This is where you really got to be patient with the trade and find out what trend it's playing. Get in it and get out of it and then maybe ride it back up to the gap. But for right now, I think we'd be best if we kind of waited for the, off, for the closing of the offering a few days in advance unless the momentum starts to pick up and the volume starts to pick up. This will bring a lot of low floaters interested into the trade, but they like that 1.5, 2.5 million. And that's when you want to just scalp the trade. Anything under that period, scalp. Don't think you're going to hold it long because there are a lot of people that are trading that stock just on momentum. Then we got another support level right here. So I got three supports for now 6477, 60, and 5522 with a resistance to break of 7157 to 7382 up to fill the gap at around 82 cents. So let's talk about the last one. That's going to be LAZR, laser. This was a good call. We talked about this over the weekend. Pulled right back to my support level. I had three support levels that I was talking about, or I had resistance levels. Let's go ahead and pull this up to the five day, to the five minute. We talked about this after hours. It was down in this section right here, and then I had three resistance level with a hard resistance up here at 3304. We did break past that, and she pulled back to that third to that support level, which was a resistance. So I always use them back and forth. If they break that support, they move up to the higher resistance levels. Them old resistance levels become new supports, and you can just play it like clockwork, back and forth, back and forth. Now I'm bullish on this stock. Definitely into 2021. I'm going to show you the yearly chart on this. We had a yearly high up here right around the 47, and it's definitely had a nice retracement. Let me pull up one more chart here that I got. I got it. See? And we're going to pull up this 20 day. Where we had this huge breakout and we've had our 50 percent retracement that's what i wanted to do this is an automatic fibonacci setup it automatically gives me my fibonacci's my percentage rates in a way and it pulled right back to that support level and i'm going to go ahead and put that on here beings we're on a 20 day And I'm going to try to find some kind of equilibrium in here where we have the balance. And that's going to be right around that area right there. That's at 3083. So that's going to be our new support. And I want to change that to a red line. And 
and we're going to pull up the 10 day, five day, five minute. See how this channel's kind of held that support level right there? So we've got, if this does pull back and doesn't hold that 3083 laser, it can pull back into these other three different support levels. If not, we need to break resistance at 3308, 3304, and then find the next resistance right up in here on this channel. I'm thinking pretty right around 3427, and then the hard resistance here at 3519. If the bus pass that, we can get to newer highs. This stock will be a definitely a $50 stock next year. So keep it on lock. It's got a good volume. I mean, it likes to break out in the morning. That's when you want to take the trade. And then maybe if you can get out with profit, do that. But look at this. Knife every morning. Knife. And then today, she decided to go ahead and break out. So I think we found a support level right here at 3083. A real strong one. You just pay attention when them pullbacks come in. Just have patience. Wait for the confirmation. And usually by watching the tape or by a candlestick pattern. And then you'll follow and then it'll try to build some kind of pattern, some kind of flag pattern throughout the day. But every day it's been selling off here for the last five days. And this brings into my five-day rule where we start to retrace back up. That's laser. Low support. 3083 resistance to break at 3304 3427 with a hard resistance right here at 3519 and that's it for the market report i hope you enjoyed it i'm going to be today was not a very attractive day the market didn't really tick down that much it i don't think it ever got above 100 points if it did i didn't see it and we're going to go ahead and go to the website here Hit this little Twitter bird if you like. I'm going to be bullish into 2021 unless something stupid happens. We're going to have a lot of, a lot of uh, butt rubbing up there with the fat cats on Wall Street because a lot of them just love a Democratic president because they like to spend that money, wasteful money. And that's, that's how this stock thrives, this market thrives. So if you like to, please hit this follow button on all those stocks on our Twitter page if you have a Twitter account. If not and you have a stock twits account, please follow us on there. Hit that follow button. And Miss Vegas and I are posting alerts in all these channels. She also has one right here. Try to follow her, Vegas1. Vegas, and we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Everybody have a great day. Always remember, I love stocks.